Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm James for Rushme 3D uh, and today we're going to be looking at the new project that I've got planned um, and basically what we're going to be doing is converting my Core XY uh, 3D printer into an IDEX printer. So in this video we're just going to briefly go over the, the whole project, what is an IDEX printer, what hardware is involved, um, I'm lucky enough to have a couple of sponsors on board for the project as well, so we'll briefly speak about them. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so first things first. What is an IDEX printer? Um, so IDEX stands for Independent Dual Extruders. So in 3D printers, we know that we have um, we can have dual hot ends and dual extruders where they're fixed on the X carriage at the same place uh, and they move together. What an IDEX printer does is it actually separates those two hot ends and extruders out, and they are controllable independently from each other. So not only does that mean we can print in two colours or two materials. But we can also print the same model at the same twice at the same time. So if I just pan the camera around, we'll take a look um, at what the D-Bot currently looks like. So we can see here that this is our X-axis, and this is essentially our hot end and extruder carriage. Um, now this will be different for most printers. I've got a Zesty Nimble and a Volcano style hot end. But essentially what an IDEX printer does is it takes this, duplicates it and puts it on the same axis. But what it allows us to do is control both of them independently from each other. So we can move this one, this carriage will home over here, the other one will home over to the other side. Um, and what that allows us to do is either use both of them during the same print or only one of them or both together uh, at, and I, as I said printing at the same time and that's known as ditto printing so that's basically what an IDEX printer is uh, if I just put the camera back round so why have I decided to do this to the D-Bot because as I said in the previous video I'm happy with how the printer works I've done a lot of upgrades to it well, anyone that knows me will know that I, the 3D printing for me is all about just the tinkering and the playing with the hardware and building things. I'm not necessarily one of these people who likes to get every ounce of quality out of their printer. Much respect to those people and some of the prints they produce are amazing. But for me, it's just about how the actual mechanical things work together. So there's two printers that I don't currently own, or two styles of printers that I currently don't own that I would like to. That being an IDEX printer and a belt printer. So ultimately I will have both of those, but to start with we're going to just convert one of the printers I've got into an IDEX printer. So when we talk about IDEX there's a few um, hardware requirements that we need to meet. So obviously we need two extruders, we need two hot ends, um, two obviously stepper motors and drivers to drive those. Now in terms of what those axes are called, we have obviously a Y and an X axis. Um, and a, the IDEX, the secondary extruder becomes known as the U axis. So we need to control that separately. So what that basically means, depending on your printer setup, is that we're going to need about a minimum, what well, a minimum of six stepper motors and stepper drivers. So the control board has got to have that requirement. Now that makes the assumption that you've only got one axis or one Z axis stepper. Um, I've got two, but they are basically driven from the same step of driver. So 
we need six on the board but we may drive seven from it um, but the hardware that I've got for this project actually will allow us to expand the capability of the board very easily so we'll talk about that in a second so the other thing that we will need to look at is uh, the 3D printed parts for the upgrade so if I again pan you round um, we can see here that the D-Bot currently has mostly 3D printed parts which is absolutely fine this never caused a problem what I intend to do is basically keep everything from the bed down the same uh, I'm just going to reprint the parts because I've decided to do it a different colour we're actually going to go for a green um, pet G uh, and that brings me on to my first sponsor for the project so 3D Jake um, has kindly supplied or will be supplying um, some recycled pet G filament uh, and that's going to be in green so we'll be reprinting every single printed part that either I'm replacing direct for a direct replacement in green and all the new parts will also be in green uh, apart from the two extruded bodies which I've already printed in black so everything from the bed down will be kept the same but reprinted and everything from the, the bed up will be a new design so I cannot design parts myself um, I can tinker about with a few things and modify them but I can't I'm not very good at actually the scratch design so I had a look on Thingiverse and managed to find a set of files that are actually for converting a Creality CR10 S5 into an IDEX printer and the way that the frame for that printer has been laid out is very similar to a D-Bot so at the moment I think I'm going to have to buy about four extra extrusions because what we're actually going to be doing is making the frame a little bit uh, wider so it's not going to be any different uh, length or height but the width is going to be slightly different so all those files will be linked down down in the description um, the person who designed those files is a chap by the name of Hunter um, and I've had a brief email discussion with him about um, the project and he's sent me over the files that I could edit if I need to and we've had a brief discussion about um, some of the choices he made in his design and they actually make a, a hell of a lot of sense and once we get to that part of the video or the part of the series we'll talk about those design choices and how I think they are really good so yeah so that's basically what the hardware requirements the printed parts are going to look like uh, we've spoken about what an IDEX printer is um, and as I have already mentioned I've got 3 Jake on board for filament sponsor um, and I'm also very happy and very proud to say that I've got two other sponsors on board uh, firstly E3D have very kindly provided me with two uh, hot ends so I've also made the choice to move the the electronics over to 24 volt so I purchased a 24 volt power supply from E3D um, and while I was planning this whole process, the whole project, I was in contact with them um, and they were very kind enough to um, sponsor the build with those two hot ends. The other sponsor I've got on board, who again I'm very happy to, to have contacted and they've agreed to send me something. So I actually got most of the parts already, um, but... I'm very happy to say that Duet 3D have sponsored the build. So the board I've got in here is actually their latest Duet 3 um, and it's got some really cool features that we're going to go through later on in the series. <clears throat> so as I, as I briefly touched on, the Duet 3 has got six 
uh, stepper drivers on board but it actually allows us to expand that capability with expansion boards and they literally connect to the Duet 3 with one cable and everything then communicates together and you can actually daisy chain those expansion boards so we could go for a fully um, controlled z-axis where every corner is independent uh, and we can get some really cool leveling going on that that will be a project that comes much later down the line once we've built the IDEX printer so my current plan is to have around 10 maybe a little bit more episodes in this build series um, this one is just an overview of the project uh, and in later videos we'll touch on each aspect of the build so my intention is to have videos on the printing of the parts and I'll try and do some time lapses and some cool things with the actual build process and we'll also talk about the filament more in detail once we once I've got it. I want to do separate videos for the E3D hot ends um, and I want to do separate videos for the duet control board and then obviously once that all comes together we'll have a video for the wiring and the electronics and then probably at least two videos on firmware setup. So I've not had any experience with RepRap firmware. Um, I've heard from a few people it's actually easier to set up than Marlin. There's a lot of documentation for it as well. So I'm going to be piling through all of that in the run up to those videos. Um, so yeah, that's about it for this video. Um, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Uh, ring the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. Um, please like this video if you've enjoyed it. And if you've got any questions, please put them down in the comment section and I will get back to you. Um, but until next time, keep on making and I'll see you then.